Hello, everyone. Children of God, you who are born of God by his Holy Spirit. Where is God your Father? Our Father who art in heaven. God our Father is in heaven. But don't the scriptures say that he abides in you? And the Father has made his home in you? Yes, they do. How then does the Father who is in heaven abide in you here on earth? If you are truly a child of God, you know how, don't you? Our Father who is in heaven is in you, here on earth, by his Spirit that is in you. But he not only abides in you, if you are truly born of God, then you also abide in him. You are in your Father. But our Father is in heaven, and you are here on earth. How then can you be in your Father who is in heaven when you are here on earth? By his Spirit, you are in your Father in heaven where he is. You are with your Father in heaven, where he is by his Spirit. If you are a true child of God, then you have died to the world, and you are no longer of the world, but you are born from above, born of God to a new life, and you have your Father's Holy Spirit in you, revealing these things to you. Those of the world do not comprehend the things of the Spirit of God our Father, and they cannot comprehend them because they are spiritually discerned. Jesus and those who truly follow him, walking in his footsteps, deny themselves, just as he denied themselves, denied himself, and they walk just as he walked. It is these, the children of God, who shine the light of truth, not by their man-made doctrines, but by he who lives in them. Their own Father, who is the true light of the world and who abides in each of them, just as he abided in Jesus. Jesus is a son of God. A true follower of Jesus is a son of God. Jesus is a begotten son of God. A true follower of Jesus is a begotten son of God. Jesus was an only begotten son of God. Jesus is now the firstborn son of many begotten sons of God. All those who are born of God. God sent his only begotten son, not so that he might remain an only begotten son, so that he might be the firstborn of many brothers, all the children of God, brothers and sisters of the firstborn 
Jesus. The Father was in Jesus. The Father is in all the begotten sons of God. Jesus was in the Father. All the begotten sons of God are in the Father. Jesus and the Father were one. They are one. All the begotten sons of God are one with both the Father and Jesus, just as they are one. Jesus was God's Christ, the Anointed One. All the begotten sons of God are God's Anointed Ones. Jesus was God's Anointed One, the Son of the Living God. All the begotten sons of God are God's Anointed one, Ones. Begotten sons of the living God. Jesus was sent into the world. The begotten sons of God are sent into the world. Jesus was not of this world. The begotten sons of God are not of this world. They're sent into the world. They who have died to the world and are no longer of the world. Jesus was from above, not below. The begotten sons of God are from above and not below. They are no longer of this world below. They are born of God, born from above. They are from above, not below. Jesus was from the Father. The begotten sons of God are from the Father. They are out of God, having been begotten of God, their own Father. Jesus was from heaven. He originated in heaven. The begotten sons of God are from heaven. In the very same way, they originate in God their Father in heaven, begotten of him by his Spirit out of heaven. Jesus descended from heaven. The begotten sons of God descend from heaven. They originate in God in heaven who begat them by his Spirit out of heaven. Jesus said he had ascended to heaven. This is before he died and rose again. He said he had ascended to heaven. The begotten sons of God ascend to heaven by that same spirit. And this is why they are in God, their father, who is in heaven. Jesus said he was in heaven. The begotten sons of God are in heaven, seated with Christ in the heavenlies. They are in Christ. Where is Christ? But in heaven at the right hand of God. They are in Christ who is at the right hand of God in heaven. They are in Christ who is in the Father who is in heaven. And they are in heaven with the Father where he is because they are in him by his Spirit. Jesus was the light of the world. The begotten sons of God are the light of the world for the very same reason. The Father spoke his words through Jesus. The Father speaks his words through the begotten sons of God. The Father did his works through Jesus. The Father does his works through the begotten sons of God. Jesus denied himself to do the Father's will, the righteousness of God. 
The begotten sons of God deny themselves to do the Father's will, the righteousness of God. Jesus offered up himself to his God as a living sacrifice to God, and he did so unto death. The begotten sons of God offer up themselves as living sacrifices to their God, and they do so unto death. Jesus took up his cross to lay down his life for the brethren. The begotten sons of God take up their cross to lay down their lives for the brethren. No one has ever seen God, but Jesus expressed the Father and the Father's love for the world. No one has ever seen God, but the begotten sons of God do the very same and make God the Father's love known to the world. Jesus is the image of God. The begotten sons of God are being transformed into the same image from glory unto glory, the same image as Christ, who is the image of God. Jesus was a partaker of the divine nature. The begotten sons of God are partakers of the divine nature. Jesus was bodily resurrected to be life-giving spirit. Bodily resurrected to be life-giving spirit. The begotten sons of God will be bodily resurrected to bear the same image. Jesus was heir of all things and inherited all things when God raised him from the dead. The begotten sons of God are heirs together with Jesus, the firstborn heir, if indeed they suffer together with him so that they might be glorified together with him. Jesus sat down on God's throne. The begotten sons of God, those who overcome, will sit down with him on that throne. Jesus will judge the world. The begotten sons of God will judge the world. Jesus will judge the angels. The begotten sons of God will judge angels. Jesus became superior to the angels when he sat down on his Father's throne. The begotten sons of God are seated with Christ in the heavenlies on that throne. And the angels of God serve them, the sons of God, these who will inherit salvation. Religious leaders persecuted and murdered Jesus for saying God was his own father. Children of God, the world will hate you, the begotten sons of God, for the very same reason. The devil is very jealous of you, children of God. And he sends his servants in that same spirit to deceive you. And he does this because he has no inheritance, but you do. And Satan des desires to steal your inheritance away from you. Consider Jesus, our firstborn brother, who inherited all things. When our Father raised him from the dead, and you are co heirs, joint heirs together with him, you, the begotten sons of God. If indeed you overcome by the power of God in you, the world did not know the Father 
nor the Son. The Antichrist religious leaders denied the Father and denied the Son. The world did not know the Father nor the Son. And the world does not know all the begotten sons of God for the same reason, and they will deny you. The Antichrist false prophets will not know you either, O child of God, and they will also deny the Father and the Son who have made their home in you. The world did not know the Father nor the Son, but he will come again and appear in the glory of our Father. Abba Father, our Daddy, is coming with his Son, who is in him and in whom our Father is. The world does not know the sons of God, but the world will when Jesus comes at the revelation of the sons of God. See how great a love the Father has given to us, that we would be called children of God. And we are. For this reason, the world does not know us because it did not know him, the Father, our Father, our Abba Father. Beloved, now we are children of God. And it has not yet appeared what we will be. Who we are is the children of God, but the world does not know us. Who we are but what we are has not yet appeared. And we know that when he appears, our Abba Father, we will be like him. We will be like him concerning what we are because we will see him just as he is. And everyone who has this hope upon him purifies himself just as he, our Father, is pure. First John 3, 1 to 3. In our walk, we will be like the Father because we do the will of the Father. But what we are bodily has not yet appeared. And for that reason, the world does not know us. Children of God, you know who you are. And you cannot be idle. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut off from the vine and thrown into the fire. You must bear good fruit to God or you will be cut off from the vine. Jesus gave this warning to his own apostles and he gave it for a reason. You must be about your father's business. The proof of God in this world is not a set of man's doctrines. The proof of God in this world is you. You. You are the light of the world. If indeed he lives in you. You are the light of the world, so let your light shine before men. And do not be idle, and do not shrink back, nor be concerned about either the disapproval of men or their approval. It means nothing, and their disapproval or their approvals will mean nothing to you on Judgment Day. Seek only to please your own Father, your Abba, who is in heaven and who is in you. Greater is he who is in you than he 
who is in the world, what can they do to you? Walk in the light as he is in the light, and let your light shine before men, so that they might see the works of God, which shine through you, the works of your Father. Believe the good news of Jesus Christ and the kingdom of his God.